Hey kids, what time is it? Yes, it's another prowl. Deal with it. Yes, here we have the Warp of Cybertron Siege Prowl. Done as, well, essentially the Fair Lady Z Cybertron Edition. A little strange. Little, especially when it comes to the, to the fact that there's very little paint on this. At least that's how it looks. There's actually a fair amount of paint on it. It just, for the amount of paint on it, it looks unpainted. Let's just put it that way. But it does have translucent reels that actually roll. So yay. <clears throat> Interesting sign, well a couple of them, is that this part is actually detachable. Both the light bar and his weapon to put it like this to create the W45 Acid Pellet Strike Blaster. And it says axe mode in instructions, but uh, that does not look like an axe to me. And the other side is that, once again, if you have six gun, do the way the colors look, you can get some very nice combinations and color matching to them. If that excites you. Okay, since we got this part of the transformation done already, we will continue. Come down around here and bring out the arms. Weird flex, but okay. <clears throat> okay, then see so now fold out the what will be the door wings, as standard with it, many Autobots. Come down here. Fold out this, and much like the masterpiece bit of engineering, you kind of have to. Okay, there we go. We do that. We fold out that part. Then ah yes, there we go. And everything holds together. Okay, I know that this goes together because that's where. Okay, there it is. That goes in here. Then fold it down. Oh, no. Yes. Yes, okay. Good. And let's see here now. Get that to snap like that. Bring these arms this way and... Yes indeed, that is indeed a prowl torso. Continuing on downward, again, do the miniaturized version of Masterpiece Engineering. You bring all this down. Pull it out and like so. And then you come back here where he does have heels. Twist this around. Yep. Get him going here. Put, yep. Put the gun in his hand. And there we are. Sort of. Yes. Prowl. Robot mode. Gibby skippy. And since this line is festooned with characters that are characters that what are also weapons, i.e. target masters, you can have them in his hand, or you can fit, again, a large number of the of either six-gun or COGS weapons into one of the many ports on him. The options are somewhat limitless, but then again, so is your imagination if you have one. As for articulation, head is on a ball joint, and well, a little bit better articulation on the head than iron head there. So, you know, universal joint for the uh, shoulder there. Mushroom peg for the biceps, 45 degrees for the elbows and wrist rotation. Full rotation on the hips as well as uh, hinge joints for the hips as well as mushroom peg on the thigh. Way more than for oh, the, the 45 or 90 degrees, I tend to forget. But you get a very good uh, knee bend there. Ankle joint, and due to the uh, heels there, he will hold a lot of positions. Although the same can be said for the gun, but that's its own little weirdness. Well, that wraps up this gorilla review. I'm Dennis Wolf. This has been more for Cybertron Siege Pro. I'm going to remind you all: free your mind, free your toys.